Merry Christmas. The Lord is doing amazing things. His church is alive throughout the world and more and more people are discovering relationship with Christ and walking with him. Churches are growing and their pastors and leaders are receiving the training that they need. Hi, I'm Pastor Tom Shedd and my wife Mary Lou and I are in our fourth year now with Global Training Network as senior staff. What an astounding privilege it is to train pastors and church leaders around the world, equipping them to disciple believers and evangelize their communities for Christ. I can't believe I get to do this. Each pastor is trained and returns to their local church and influences their congregations with what they have learned so the training multiplies out like crazy. This is an amazing model and bringing many, many pastors together around the world who may not have access to formal training multiplies the training out in astounding ways. In Davao City, Philippines, Pastor Norman Naramal is coordinating the training for pastors in the southernmost island of Mindanao for the Conservative Baptist Association of the Philippines. Many of these pastors are in communities with large Muslim populations, and the training is giving them the tools and the planning needed to help the gospel reach into these communities. In Bunda, Tanzania, Pastor Takiko is helping build a network of Timothy leadership trainers to go into parts of Tanzania that someone like me could never go into. In Chiang Rai, Thailand, Pastor Montan is helping students at Chiang Rai Bible Seminary take the gospel into villages in the countryside where only a very, very small percentage of them have ever even heard the gospel, let alone respond and turn away from their idols. In Campina Grande, Brazil, Pastor Wastinus and his wife, Gletzi, are helping church leaders and musicians in the churches there by sponsoring music and worship arts training in order to deepen their own understanding and become better leaders of worship in their churches. In 2018, there were six different trips to seven countries on three continents, and many of those I visited twice. This year, I've led training in Thailand and Laos, the Philippines, Brazil, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda. I trained in 15 different cities, and many of them twice. I lead three distinct curricula, Timothy leadership training, music and worship arts training, and understanding the Bible. Each of these curricula are six courses, so courses are offered twice a year in each place so we can complete the curriculum and issue certificates in three years. The objective, though, is not simply to complete the course, but for the pastors and leaders to become trainers themselves, where they can take the courses out to the other places around them and to even other countries nearby. We seek to help participants in the trainings to understand the concept of head, heart, and hands. Information comes into the head, but then it must touch the heart, and it must find expression in the hands-on work of ministry. So to help achieve this, participants write out an action plan for each course they take, and then over six months until the next class, they work on that plan to accomplish what God has called them to do. An action plan is simply answering two questions. What does God want me to do? How does he want me to do it? The action plans help take the course material and transfer it into real ministry. In Laos, pastors return to their villages and begin to report that 10, 17, 25 people in those villages had come to faith in Christ. In the Philippines, Pastor Philip developed a plan to help coordinate doctors and hospitals into bringing needed services to the churches. In Tanzania, women in one church formed a TLT group to minister to pastors and their families in the district. They even had shirts made up for their group. Now there are expenses in doing this ministry, but we now have a pretty good idea of how much each trip costs depending on where the trip goes and how long the trip is. In 2018, I did six trips and averaged about three weeks per trip. The sixth trip is unusual in that after training in Brazil, I flew the southern route uh, through Johannesburg to get to Uganda and Rwanda to begin new trainings there. 
So who pays for all this? Well, our ministry partners, investing in the ministry through their gifts, give just like people do with their churches. These are people who cannot go themselves, but they see great value in training pastors and leaders, and they want to invest in it. We have both monthly partners and those who give special gifts each year. Some do both, as the Lord provides. In 2019, we have a pretty good idea of what the travel expenses will be, so we're hoping to raise that amount during this Christmas season so that we can fund trips for next year in advance. So would you consider helping? We're looking for monthly support and we're looking for special gifts. Now, even though the markets go up and down, we've had quite a bull run over the last few years and many have done very well. As you think about the end of the year, Mary Lou and I would like to challenge you to give a special gift, as we are, to help fund this ministry for 2019. So we ask you to please send your gifts to Global Training Network, Post Office Box 6507, Peoria, Arizona, 85385. And if you're writing a check on the memo line, please write for account 482. Uh, IRS rules say you can't put our name there. Uh, but so it's probably wise to put a little note in there also saying that the gift is for Tom and Mary Lou. Now, if you'd like to uh, give electronically, either through a credit card or direct deposit, then go to this URL and you can do it very easily there. Just click where it says give now. And so we've started into our fourth year of this ministry as full-time senior staff with Global Training Network. If we do six trips again in 2019, I will be traveling between one-third and one-half of the year. Please pray for us. Please pray for wisdom and safety for me and for the empowering of the Holy Spirit to accomplish what God wants me to do. Please pray also for Mary Lou as she works at home and takes care of the family our parents and our kids and our grandchildren. Thank you for your partnership in ministry. May the work of the Lord continue as he desires it to go here and all over the world.